Ever wondered if everything you've heard about protein is true? We're diving into the world of protein myths today, and boy, are there a lot to unpack. Let's start with a big one. Protein isn't just for those hulking bodybuilders. Whether you're a marathon runner, a yoga enthusiast, or someone who enjoys a good walk in the park, your body needs protein. It's essential for repairing and building tissues, among other vital functions. And no, loading up on protein won't necessarily lead to weight gain. It's all about balance. Consuming protein in moderation, alongside a balanced diet and regular exercise, is the key. Here's another myth we're busting. Not all proteins are created equal. Different sources of protein offer different benefits and drawbacks. Remember, more protein isn't always better. It's about the right protein, in the right amount. So it's clear there's more to protein than meets the eye. But what about different types of protein? Artificial and natural proteins. They're both proteins, but are they the same? Let's dive into this question and find out. Artificial proteins are often found in products like protein powders, bars, and shakes. They're engineered to be convenient, easy to consume, and packed with protein. However, this convenience can come at a cost. Many artificial proteins contain additives, sweeteners, and preservatives that could have unforeseen health impacts. Additionally, they might not be as bioavailable as their natural counterparts. Bioavailability refers to how well your body can absorb and use a nutrient. So even if a protein powder boasts a high protein content, your body might not be able to use all of it effectively. On the other hand, we have natural proteins. These are proteins that come directly from food sources like meats, dairy, legumes, and nuts. They're free from the additives found in artificial proteins and are often more bioavailable. However, they come with their own set of challenges. Natural proteins require proper food handling to prevent contamination and spoilage. They may also pose the risk of food allergies for some people. So artificial and natural proteins, while both providing the crucial macronutrient our bodies need, have distinct differences. It's not just about the protein content, but also about the source, the additives, the bioavailability, and the potential health implications. As you can see, the type of protein you choose can make a big difference. But what's the bottom line? So, what's the real truth about protein? Well, here's the bottom line. Not all proteins are crafted equally. Consuming more isn't necessarily a winning strategy. It's a delicate balance. The choice between artificial and natural proteins isn't a one-size-fits-all scenario. It depends on your unique needs and circumstances. Always consider the source of your protein and remember it's not about quantity, but quality. Remember, when it comes to protein, knowledge is power. Make sure you're making informed choices for your health. Please subscribe to the channel for more informative videos and share them with your loved ones. Thank you.